of the Republic of Ghana highlights a key foreign policy objective for the country to seek the establishment of a just and equitable international economic and social order for all manner of persons. It is to this end that Ghana has keenly participated in the activities of the Seabed Authority since its inception. Issues pertaining to the protection of our oceans are now taking center stage globally as a result of the threats posed to the oceans, a major source of our economic survival. In our part of the world, eliminating the pollution of our water bodies has been difficult, and it is even more daunting a task to manage those risks in areas beyond our nat national jurisdictions. It is in this regard that Ghana attaches a lot of importance to the current negotiations to protect the maritime space beyond national jurisdiction, common, commonly called BBNJ. I am aware that issues related to capacity building are dear to the hearts of developing countries, and that to me is heartwarming. I encourage you, the experts, to take part in the negotiations to continue making constructive inputs to the process. Ladies and gentlemen, it is imperative that we position our continent to benefit from the international protocols and regimes that our governments subscribe to through these treaties, conventions, and agreements. The International Seabed Authority is at the critical stage where the appropriate legal framework is being developed to govern the exploitation phase of the activities in the area. These instruments are to act as a safeguard and to be in fulfillment of the underlying principle of part 11 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, the common heritage of mankind. I entreat you all to show commitment to the issues on the agenda and to make contributions that will enable us come out with an outcome document that will help shape an effective and efficient exploitation of the marine resources in the area so as not to destroy the marine environment on which we rely for our livelihood. It is only by making informed choices that we can make real progress in the sustenance of our oceans for ourselves and for generations unborn. As you enjoy the welcoming ambience during your few days stay in Ghana, I will also encourage you to find time to visit some of the tourist sites. Thank <music> you.